Hi. This is Matt with Airmark. And today I'm flying a Cirrus SR-22 equipped with a DFC-90 autopilot from Avidyne. And I just wanted to show you a couple of the functionality uh, features of this uh, autopilot. It's a digital autopilot, so it's very smooth and uh, very responsive. And here's what it looks like in the panel. Right now I'm climbing, it just took off. And I'm climbing with uh, in heading mode and vertical speed mode with altitude armed. Right now I have an altitude of 3,500 uh, pre-selected. And when I get there, which is about uh, 600 feet, that ALT will ex uh, go from blue to green and the VS will extinguish, showing that I've leveled off at my pre-selected altitude. What you can also do is climb with uh, altitude and indicated airspeed selected. Card copy 20627, Lexington. The first. indicated airspeed is selected up here. Uh, actually, you could select the airspeed here with this knob, but it will show on the PFD right up at the top there which airspeed you'd like to choose, and I can change that. And then 20627, squad 4212. Push IAS and altitude together, and the aircraft will climb at that uh, indicated airspeed and level off at your altitude. So right now, Altitude flashes, VS extinguishes, and altitude now is green, meaning that we are requesting IFR to we are leveled off at uh, our altitude. A very good feature, a very safe feature of this autopilot is the straight level button. Uh, let's say I get in the clouds to get disoriented and I'm having trouble getting the airplane under control. I'm going to simulate that by just doing an unusual attitude. What I can do is just simply push down, reach down and push the straight level button. Straight level is enunciated. The autopilot immediately brings the airplane back to straight level uh, with uh, minimal control inputs and right now I can figure out what's going on. The airplane is under control and I can uh, get my wits about me and go ahead and figure out uh, the next step. So it's a really safe feature. And one last feature for the Avidyne DFC-90 autopilot in the cruise uh, portion of flight. I'm just going to go ahead and put in a nearby airport, uh, which is 27 Kilo, Georgetown. Activate it. We have a course line there. Now all I need to do on the autopilot is push GPSS. And the autopilot turns the plane directly toward, toward the uh, airport. Ident, say landing area and altitude. Easy as that. GPSS is in green, I'm still in altitude mode. Heading is now extinguished because I've switched to lateral mode from heading to GPSS. And that's that.